Hi, Douglas with VMworld TV, standing here with the product manager for vCloud Request Manager, John. So, John, what is vCloud Request Manager? So, vCloud Request Manager provides a request management layer over the top of vCloud Director, and it's aimed for organizations or enterprises that are building out private clouds and want to add approval processes to, uh, to the front end of the request, really to avoid the virtual sprawl that might take place if you provide sort of um, uncontrolled access to self-service. And um, how granular is it to, you know, does IT own and control who can access it, how much they can access? Yeah, so the underlying infrastructure, a lot of the security model is inherited from the underlying cloud infrastructure, which is controlled by vCloud Director. But the approval process itself can be, um, or it certainly operates out of the box. Out of the box, the approval processes go to the uh, manager of the person that's making the request. But the administrator can go and change that logic based on whatever the needs are for, um, for that business. And is this um, really geared towards individual companies um, leveraging this for the different departments, or is it also to enable uh, service providers, for instance? So at this point, it's really aimed at enterprises. It's designed to really install uh, completely over the top of, um, of vCloud Director and operate day one um, without any additional configuration. And how do you manage this? I mean, so how do the guys using vCenter, vCloud Director today, is it uh, web-based, what is this? Yeah, so it is a, a web-based front end, um, and uh, the, the end users, the cloud consumers, come into a portal, and they're able to select from a catalog of templates, or perhaps even create uh, their own um, segment of the cloud that uh, they want to set up for a particular project team that, or project that's, uh, that's being kicked off. And, and they interact with, with that portal, the, the front end portal, because it's aimed for self-service, uh, operates across uh, many different types of devices. It's purely HTML based, uh, which makes that possible. I see you've got an iPad sitting here. I uh, do. Does it work with the iPad? It sure does. Um, it, uh, you can just uh, log in. If I hide the, um, the controls here, you can see vCloud Request Manager. You can directly uh, log into that and get ourselves in. If we log in as a uh, someone like a QA engineer who would quite often want to provision new vApps. And you can see here the list of currently running vApps inside this particular uh, project, Project Delta here, and a number of vApps are currently running. We can click on those and get their current status. You can see this one's powered off. And you can easily kick off requests by filling in these simple forms. And this behind the scenes will drive the approval processes and send emails off to managers or whoever it's necessary to uh, to get the approval for provisioning tasks to take place. And, and this looks really streamlined. I mean, did you guys have mobile devices in mind when you developed this? Yes, because we're really targeting a, a self-service, uh, we really felt it was important to be able to operate across uh, different devices like the iPad that are springing up all over enterprises. And we really tried to optimize a lot of the screens, um, simplify their operation, keep the just keep the visual elements of the screen um, separated so they're easier to press with a, with a finger press. Uh, and really uh, dynamically respond to um, the, the different uh, features that are, that are present on the iPad. All right, well, I, I love it. Is it available now? When can I start using this? Uh, so we've just announced this product yesterday, and in fact, uh, we've announced that it'll be available, uh, or generally available before the end of the year. Great, thanks a lot for your time, and uh, enjoy the show. Thank you.